Well, it seems that the woke SJW Disney CEO Bob Iger has had a very bad PR week. Uh, that would be a very uh, uh, tender way to put it. I mean, to call it bad would be probably a very huge understatement, but I'm trying to be nice about it because, of course, you know, I don't want to come off like I'm toxic or anything like, you know, people will try to say. But uh, essentially, they've, uh, he, he is, you know, went from being the what's been dubbed Daddy Iger to now essentially the bane of pretty much all of Hollywood. Not to say that Hollywood has any kind of moral standards whatsoever. Hollywood is just a, a cesspool of degeneracy. But uh, he's had a very bad week, I'll put it that way. It says here on The Hollywood Reporter, uh, unpacking Bob Iger's terrible, horrible, no good PR week. Many in Hollywood hope that the re-upped Disney CEO long considered the corporate leader most in tune with talent would emerge as level-headed as a level-headed mediator who could end the labor impasse. Uh, and then he spoke his mind. When it comes to this whole writer strike in Hollywood, me personally, I really don't care what a bunch of writers and celebrities, you know, have to say. Because quite frankly, a lot of them, they're part of the problem too. So, plus I don't, I don't really watch Hollywood anyway, so I don't really care any, anyway. But uh, uh, continuing on the article, uh, but why did he do it? That's the question many in Hollywood have asked in the wake of Bob Iger's now infamous July 13th interview with CNBC in uh, Bulak Sun Valley. What possessed Iger to, uh, to pick? Uh, such a place in time to express his disappointment with the demands of the striking talent talent guilds, quote unquote talent guilds. Yeah, sure. Uh, not only uh, was he at the gathering known as the billionaires camp, but just the day before Disney had, had announced that his contract was being extended to 2026, meaning his estimated net worth, uh, 690 million in 2019, according to Forbes, was now going was was going to go up millions. Well, I mean, he does run. Well, what was uh, what used to be the king of entertainment? You know, Disney used to be that. Now they're pretty much just failure after failure after failure. Doesn't seem like Bob Iger's having the time of his life right now. Continuing on, a question about the strike uh, was about the strike was completely predictable. It's so easy to deflect. I won't discuss an ongoing labor dispute, but I hope we reach a fair settlement soon and get back to making top-notch entertainment, something like that. I said Iger expressed frustration at the guilds were not, in his view, grasping. Uh, the problems facing the industry, there's a level of expectation that they have that is just not realistic. That is true, I do agree with them there. I mean, most of these, uh, especially when you have the celebrities joining in too, I mean, these celebrities are worth millions as well. So, I mean, quite frankly, what they have to say is really irrelevant in my mind. Uh, and I'm sure the, the mind of most working class people who have to actually have to actually work for a living, you know. But uh, continuing on, he said, uh, they were adding to the set of challenges that this business is already facing, and that is, quite frankly, very disruptive. Again, I agree with them there, quite frankly. I mean, this whole strike is just pathetic, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, continuing on the article, it's possible that Bob Iger believes he could play the role of an affectionate, well-regarded uh, part of familias, not good at reading on a computer, do apologize, whose words might uh, chasten the guilds. Bob has no doubt thought through, uh, thought sorry no doubt thought through when to speak and what to say says a disney veteran maybe he felt he had to put it out there yet the person concedes that bob Iger uh, wound up choosing a poor backdrop yeah definitely you <laughs> no kidding he's like now the bane of of hollywood again not saying that hollywood has any kind of you know moral standing whatsoever hollywood is just as bad when it comes to woke shaw i'd say even worse in my opinion uh but then again disney is part of hollywood it says uh continuing on a few days later sag af TRA's friend Dretcher struck back using the kind of disparaging language that Iger can hardly can hardly have heard before. Uh, there he is sitting in his designer uh, designer clothes, got off his private jet when the billionaires camp telling us we're unrealistic. She said, "How can you how do you deal with someone uh, who's that tone deaf? So you're an ignoramus." I argue most of these celebrities are just as ignoramus, is my opinion, because they actually think their opinion matters <laughs> to to the average working class person. Uh, by then, the waters have already gone through, gotten through to, for Iger, who acknowledged at CNBC interview uh, that the many challenges facing Disney were greater and he, than he had anticipated. When he returned to, as CEO in November, since a longtime associate, he has never felt this level of stress in his career. Now, this is probably the one time where I do, you know, have a level of support for Iger because this whole writer strike is just totally pathetic, in my opinion. And quite frankly, uh, whenever celebrities have to open their mouth about their opinions, I just think whatever. I mean, they just, they actually are dumb enough to think their opinion matters. So. You can call me toxic all you want, but the, most of these Hollywood celebrities are just in the back pockets of their, their father, Satan, and also in the back pockets of the Jesuit Order in Rome. So I thought I'd throw that, throw that out there. But the woke SJW Disney CEO, Bob Iger, uh, has not had a good PR week whatsoever. And again, while I'm supportive on, on him on this, um, a lot of what he's done is pretty much, I mean, he's the reason why Disney's failing. Let's just put that out there. Uh, Chapek was trying to fix all these problems, and Chapek wasn't perfect either. Let's just face the reality. But the bottom line is, is that Disney has not had a good uh, 
year so far, past, past two years, and it's probably only, only going to continue to get worse, uh, which is added, but with the added, you know, benefit of these whiny celebrities and writers who are just out there, you know, making a, a racket as usual. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.